Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Brian here, and welcome back to A Winner's End. Welcome to A Winner's End. This is a game where your choices matter. And you can also play it on a controller, too. How cool is that? Also, if you like this game, check the link down in the description below. You can go ahead and try it out for yourself. It's free to play, at least at the time I played this. So, let's hop into it, and let's see what it's all about, shall we? Our choices will matter. Let's see what, let's see what it's all about. Every winter gives way to spring, eventually. To most people, this is a passive event, something that happens thanks to the positions of, hem of hemispheres and stars. Can I tell you a secret? I know the reason why winter ends. I know because the wind told me. I was eight when I learned that the winter could think and feel, and I was twelve when our story begins the verge of having to say goodbye. Ooh. I wasn't the sort of kid to go back inside before mom's dinner bell rang. So do we just got My parents had me keep old pairs of shoes on the back porch. Dad said they were better suited for exploring than the ones I wore to school. Okay. Once when I was six, I burned my hand trying to hide a rock among the charcoal. After that, I had a habit of holding my hand close to the grill to check for heat before touching it. It's probably a smart idea. What's this? Mom always had a green thumb and kept up her flower box year round. I would often find seeds in the forest to plant, but I never quite had the same skill as her when it came to nurturing flowers. Of course, it would have helped if I ever remembered to water them. Yeah, that's kind of a little thing there, my dear darling. My old bug net and storage containers. I would take those everywhere and out and leave them all over the forest. When I was out catching bugs, wind would whistle itself through my net. Is this wind right here? Hello, wind. Hello, Noel. Long time no see. Wind was always very kind to me tease me in the way I'd seen my old friends older siblings tease them. It always wanted, wanted in on others' business. You've been gone a while, huh? Something going on? You've been away, so I have a feeling something might have happened. I'm fine, Wind. But thanks for asking. Well, Noel, since it's been a minute, I've been cooking up some new questions to ask you. You know, one of those hard ones. You like those, yeah? Yeah, what is it? Here it goes. At the end of a long, challenging day, what about that day makes it satisfying to you? Come on, whip out those dice of yours. I want to see what you have to say. Noel has a hard time deciding what to say sometimes. Luckily, they have these useful dice to help keep them, to help them out. To make a choice, you will need to roll the dice indicated symbols on your dice. Ah! These dice use three symbols, wisdom, creativity, and empathy. Hover over a dice to see its face. Press to roll the dice. Okay. Um, can I try something new? You get one chance to re-roll your dice, selecting one or more of your dice that you wish to re-roll. I want to re-roll them all. What? We set your roll to move on. But I didn't get anything! Oh, that was lame. Based on what you rolled, certain options are now available to you. If you fail to meet any requirements, one will be chosen for you. It's important to me that I tried something new. If I didn't try something new, then it wouldn't have been that hard of a day, would it? Could it? I like that answer. Interesting. I wonder what stays true when you're not choosing to do something new yourself. What if the world chooses for you, I mean? Thank you for indulging me, Noel. 
I always enjoy your company and perspective. Now that I've had my fun, still wanted me to ask you to go visit it. Or must it, rather. You'll see what I mean when you get there. Surely it hasn't been so long that you've forgotten it's to the northeast of here, yes? I wonder if my question made you grow or not. I know. Those dice of yours grows alongside your heart and mind. Something tells me they'll be a valuable asset to you in the coming days. Well, I suppose that's just a hunch. With a whoosh and a whistle, wind blew away. You just got a new die face. No one else's dice are special. They can be customized and upgraded by replacing their faces, growing alongside Noel throughout their journey. You can see the face you just got here. Okay. And your dice are shown here. Displayed so you can see all six faces. By customizing your dice, you can improve your chances of being able to make the choice you want. Click on any of these spaces to help your new face on that dice. If you're happy with your placement, click here to lock it in. Once you lock a die face in, you can no longer change it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So... What if I don't want to put it anywhere? If I just, you know, it's fine. I mean, I already have it, so it's like, why should I place it somewhere new? Alright, fine, whatever. Close the menu to return to the game. You can always view your dice by clicking the backpack icon here. But you can only customize your dice when you receive a new face. Yay! So, it said northeast, and this looks kind of northeast ish. Even though it's probably not. Pond had this rubber duck since before I started coming to the forest. Sometimes it would play the ruler of our sand sandcastles high atop his mighty throne. But mostly just floated alongside Pond. Pond and I had built this the day before. It was always a challenge keeping it sturdy with the water Pond would splash onto the shore. Is this Pond right here? Hey, Noel, how have you been? Hi, Pond, I've been okay. Happy to be back in the forest now that school is to be less busy. That's really good to hear. I have, um, always wondered what you get up to when you're not here. You go to something called school. Sounds exciting. It's really not. It's a lot of fun. I learn a lot there, like I do here. But the things I learn are different. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. What kind of special power does this girl have? And why can't I get over there? It looks like I can get over there. I just had to walk across the rocks. Yeah, that looks like stone right there. When I was eight, I tried talking to the pebbles like you did to stone. I was really sad when they wouldn't respond. Stone comforted me. I explained that though they don't talk, they're a part of it. They're a part of it, more or less. It said. I like to think of them as its little children. That's kind of cute. Moss sat on stone, looking down at it with concern. Hello, Noel. Is something wrong? The way Wynn was speaking makes me think something is wrong. Ah, uh, if only it were not so. Yes, yes, something is wrong. My dear Stone is very sick. <laughs> Does he have COVID? Does it have COVID? As you can see, it's having trouble speaking as well. It's been a difficult few days since you've been gone. And of course, this had to happen just before Stone was sent to talk to Winter. was an event I'd heard of, but never seen. Stone would travel up the hill and speak to Winter itself to let it know that the season had ended. This had been Stone's job for a longer time than human words can describe, so Moss had told me. Should we be worried? I mean, if Winter doesn't leave, won't that mean the season not ending isn't something we can allow? 
really. This, might, this isn't an easy ask, but Noel, could you be the one to speak to winner this year? Someone was certain it should be you. Why? Sorry, I just don't know if I could. Why not you or Lake? Someone older. Any of you, really. <coughs> Stone opened his mouth with a clear intention to speak, but couldn't. Please, dear, rest. I'll say what you said to me. Let Noel tell Winter why it can't be with us forever. Noel will know. Always cryptic, this one. Sorry for that, Noel. If you say so, I will try my best. Excellent. Stone, Moss, are you here? Capybara. From between the trees emerged Miss Capybara, a mother figure for the lost animals of the forest. It wasn't like her to look so worried. Ah, Noel, you're here too. Great, you can help. Miss Capybara, please calm yourself. You can help. Yes, yes. But what exactly is the matter? my dear rat, the newest member of my family. We had a bit of a fight and he ran off. I can help look. I know all the hiding spots. Thank you. Thank you, Noel. I'm so glad I can count on you. I'll be in my hollow just west of here, just in case he comes back. It would be best to ask around if any of the others have seen him. He can't have gotten far. Stupid rat. That's it. You think maybe Pond will know what happened to poor little... Have you seen Rat anywhere around here? He's missing. Oh, um, I can't say that I've seen him. Sorry about that. I wish we could help more. That's okay, Pond. I don't hold it against you. Can't go home, so I guess I'm going to have to go up here now and see what's up here. Oh, it's Capybara. Wow, that was hard. Where are you, you stupid rat? Who the heck are you? Lake swam over to me and spoke in a hushed tone. Ah, Noel. The rat came here not too long ago and looked downcast. He won't quite open up to me, but I'm worried about him. He scurried off in such a hurry, too. I'm on the lookout, so don't worry too much. Please let me know if you see anything else. Of course. Thank you, Noel. That's a difference. That's Lake. Little Miss Wind. Mr. Bean was this an stuffed animal's name. I left him here as a reminder not to venture too far off into the forest when I was small. When I got older, he just sat there peacefully in the grass, ever a watchful eye. I take it you discovered Moss and Stone and Moss's situation. I have, but I'm really worried about Mr. Rat. Miss Cubby Barra says he's run off and she can't find him. You haven't seen him, have you? You always seem to know what's going on. I appreciate that you think so, but no. I don't even know he was didn't even know he was missing. If I hear anything, I'll be sure to let you know, Noel. Let me guess this is for Ooh. Honeydew was one of the forest frogs. They didn't talk much, but they did like to sunbathe on this stump. We'll be back down to the lake now. To the stone. Yeah. We need to keep going north. Talk to winter. Let's go away! Flower was fizzing away with his floor designs as per usual. Flower, can I ask you something? Oh, hello, Noel. I didn't see you there. Is everything okay? Have you seen Rat anywhere? Kevin Barra can't find him, and she's pretty worried. Oh, dear. No, I haven't. I've been quite preoccupied, as you could probably tell. So he hasn't been up this way, then. Thanks for the help, Flower. Of course. Now, do I look do I look like the do I like the look of these snowdrops here? We found this spot when Mom brought me and Dad here to watch the comet pass by. I kept this blanket here for nights when I could convince them to come stargaze with me. Yay! Those binoculars? The hill always had the best view. I could sit down and look at the trees for hours. Aided by my trusty binoculars. The best thing I ever saw was a woodpecker jabbing a hole into a tree. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nothing wrong about that one. Alright, where's that stupid rat? 
Wind, can I get past you? No? Okay. Is there a rat in the house? That's what I see happening. What's this? There was a small ball of planted herbs by stone and moss. Looked like someone had gathered a fresh supply. Maybe it was mediocre to help with stone sickness. Medicine! To help with stone sickness. No, well, I just missed him. Rat came by, moving quickly towards the pond. I called out, of course, but he didn't respond. Why did you chase him, chase him instead? I have to stay with stone. Okay, so the pond's... Wait, wait, set the pond! No! Wait a minute, what's this do? Noel, Noel! Hi, Al. Hi, Sienna. The two youngest frogs are always full of energy and looking for fun. They were some of them my most consistent playmates in the forest. We're looking for a third opinion. Which one of us is better at hiding? Not sure. I've never had to find any either of you before. How about we play hide and seek? Then he can tell us who's better. We can look around for good spots today. And then come, come and find us tomorrow. I look forward to getting to see these hiding places of yours, Len. Oh good, I get to play hide and seek with snakes. What's this? Stone and Moss helped me make this fishing rod. Never caught anything with it. But I suspected that wasn't the point of sitting together by the stream. down here. There's lake and there's stone and moss. And here's moss. I saw him. I found Red. Or rather, he found me. We talked a bit about his frustrations with not getting to see the human city. I, um, agreed. So we can't see much of anything from the pond. I guess he sort of looks up to me now a bit. But we were talking just now and he got quiet. Can you try talking to with him, Noel? Why are you walking when I'm not walking? Alright, where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey there, little rat. Rat's sitting near the edge of the pond looking out on the water. He knows my approach inside. Ah, what do you want, Noel? This capybara asked me to look for you. Everyone's worried, you know. Whatever. Not she cares about me. Won't even let me go visit human places. See? Yep, that's why I'm here now. I'm not happy, though. Like I thought I'd be. Running away and all. Do you want to go back, maybe? No, definitely not. I wouldn't even know how. Even if I wanted to. And I don't. Definitely not. Rat wore a distant expression on his face. I wondered why rats had a reputation for dishonesty when this one couldn't tell a lie for anything. Roll the dice! Alright, let's see here. What is that? We could play a game. Roll this one one more time and see what we get. Okay, I accept the roll. How about this? If I can beat you in a race, you have to go back and say you're sorry. If I lose, if you lose, can you bring me a human snack tomorrow? One with lots of salt. You're on. He lined up. My knees bent to preparation. Rat was too small. It was hard to tell if he was doing the same. Around the trees and back. First one to touch the water wins. Ready? Set? Go! Rat took off first. I hesitated just a second before starting. I figured my human length legs, as childish as they were, would give me enough of an advantage. He reached the tree first. Soon after I turned around, I was ahead again. When I reached the pond, I made a big splap and stopped my boots. Looks like I win. Darn. I really thought I had you at the tree. I'll go home now. Wait, before you go, Rat, just make sure you're sorry. She was really worried about you. I will. It was 
was fun with you, Noel. Even though you were clearly at an advantage. The rat left from Miss Kelly Barrow's hollow. I got the cat face. What if I don't want to use it? Is that, is that a thing I can do? Uh, I guess for now I'll just put it there, I guess. Nice! The dragonfly stared at me for a few seconds before zipping off into the reeds. Cool. Er, maybe I go, go, go talk to Calibara again. Na 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 Hey, look at Miss Calibara. Calibara had these toys for as long as I had been visiting the forest. All except for the teddy bear. I gave it to her around my 10th birthday since the rat loved it so much. He was so interested that human toys were made to look like animals. Well, Rat came back and he tells me that you had a lot of, to do with that, so thank you. He said something about a foot race. Oh, what fun. How you turned in, that into a way to get him back, I'll never know. Perhaps you'd be good at the sort, the, the sort of work I do yourself, Noel. Well, I'm very happy that everything turned out okay. In the distance, my mom's dinner bell rang. I should be heading home. Have a nice rest of your day, Miss Capybara. Back and visit soon, Noel. It's always wonderful to see you. Yay, we made it past the first day. Hey there, Wynn. Heard that rat is home safe and sound thanks to you. Such a busybody, Noel. You were scurrying all over the place trying to find him. I could hear all of that. You really do hear everything, don't you, Wynn? What amazing ears you have. All the better to guide you with. Now that everything's settled, I should be off for today. But I'm sure I will see you again tomorrow. Likely with some new questions to ask you. And I'll see you tomorrow with some new answers. Yeah, I get to go home now. Going home, I thought of being responsible for any winter weight on me. But I was resolved to grow in the ways that I could before that moment would come. March 5th, 16th. get through a day. That, was, that wasn't too bad. Mm, I think that's a good stopping point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to play it for yourself, link will be down in the description below. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good one.